Hey guys, so this is episode 6 of my interior course in Blender. We're going to be carrying on from the last episode where I did the glass sliding doors and we're going to be doing all the windows in the skylight and then above the sliding door. So it's kind of the same process but I just want to break down every single part of this project for you just so it's really easy to understand. So let's jump into it. Let's just copy this, um, the, the glass let's just chuck it in now this is just literally one pane that's been modified to add thickness and everything so let's just move this down for a sec I'm just gonna speed through it but you already know the method for doing this so um, yeah you've already learned what you need to learn but just for like the sake of absolute beginners I remember being in that position and just wanting to see everything so I'm gonna do that for you guys let's just move that down Where's the other side? Let's move this in and up. Cool. So we've got glass there. And that's actually outside. Oh, so is that. That's funny. We actually need to move all the joinery, all the glass, and the floor uh, sliding track. We need to move all that in like that, just so it's not like outside. Yeah, that feels good. Cool. And then with this track, um, I'm going to just duplicate this. I like to just reuse elements. Let's just select everything we're going to separate by loose parts. And let's just rotate this one. And then move it down. I just want to see. I just want to quickly see what angle that is. Oh great, I don't know what angle that is because I've already applied the transforms. Um, let's just guesstimate real quick. I don't want to waste your guys time. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's just select that face. And we're going to snap it to the, uh, to the top bit up here. Perfect. And then we're going to grab this one here and we're going to just uh, kind of move it down oh shoot let's just um, uh, let's grab this bottom end and move that up so we're just going to extrude that out just like that Uh, jeez, what's going on here? Let's just delete all that and then we're just going to go duplicate this. And we're going to rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees. We're going to snap it back up. Perfect. We just want a good frame. Um, oh, I seem to have deleted that face. Let's just select both and press F. And that's how you can create new faces. Where are we? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to select this here. 
the space. And then we're just going to move it out to the end. Cool. <clears throat> I think that's perfect. Um, I'm going to just delete that. I'm not sure what that is. So we've got a nice triangle window here. I'm going to select all that. going to go um, face mode, unwrap, set my TD. And we're good. So if we go into cycles mode, that should be a nice little window frame. Yeah, cool. It's quite subtle because it's the same timber as everything else. But it does add a nice little detail there. Cool. So the last thing we're going to do is the glass windows. And we're, <laughs> we're only really going to do this one because it's the only one you can see. But we're going to make sure that the glass passes through all of these. So let's just do one real quick. And let's have a look. Also, what is this here? I got no idea what that is. Um, let's just delete that. So I'm going to copy. Uh, I'm going to copy this here. We're just going to duplicate it. Um, what on the X axis and we're just going to snap it if we can. No, we can't. We're just going to move it over here. Let's go into our view. Um, camera view just so we can see which window we're going to be doing and let's just kind of like fit it in there roughly like that so that's kind of our window frame there let's just snap it to the outside and let's go into face select mode we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of um finesse this up a little bit uh, let's just select all that we're going to just bring it down and then this one here we're going to select both and then we're just going to move it up just like that cool and let's duplicate that and we're just going to rotate it we can find the let's just go into object set origin origin to 3d origin to center of mass and that means when we rotate we can just doesn't go everywhere let's just snap it on the 90 degree and let's snap this up to the top of that one there same process as last time perfect that's yeah, pretty good that's great okay literally doesn't matter anything else that goes on here we just want to see that frame okay let's copy this window here this is the last stage perfect and we're just going to move that all the way to the end and we're just going to move that down cool so we've got glass in there got nice windows nice little subtle window frame let's just have a look in cycles mode cool i think that looks pretty good so i hope you found this episode useful um we've kind of walked through how i do my window frames and um, everything like that if you're interested in seeing the kind of work i do as a professional make sure to check out my Instagram at Oliver Higgins Architecture um, and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.